Oh, this sounds so cringe. I'm sorry, but what? <laughs> Welcome back! My name is Daniela and if you're new here, hello! This is my favorite video of the month. Yes, it is. Uh, this is picking my to be read books for the next month. So this is for September, yay! I'm um, kind of dreading the autumn to be honest because rain is not my favorite. <laughs> but um, I am really glad that we won't have temperatures of like 37 degrees anymore, so that is perfect. So let's pick the books. Um, as usual, there are three parts. First part is the book of the month, so the mystery book. You have them here. Uh, second part is books I want to read that I just picked for myself. And the third part, the most exciting one, is my to be read jar. This little baby over here. And we're going to pick two or three books. I'm still not sure, but we'll see when we get there. So let's do it. All right, so the first part is the book of the month, the mystery book. Uh, for those who don't know, at the beginning of the year, I wrapped 12 books and all of these are from like a secondhand online bookstore. And the key is that every single book each month has the number of the month in the title. So last month it was, uh, August, well, this month it was August, so uh, the book had the number 8 in it. And this should have number 9 since it is September, so let's open it up. Uh, I also kind of wrap, uh, ran out of wrapping paper, so this looks like a mess. But, I mean, I'm not keeping this, so I might as well just destroy it. Because usually I open them up so nicely. Okay, can you? I'll show you first. Can you see what it is? I hope that focus. So this is the naughty 90s. Football's coming home? Okay, Martin King and Martin Knight, author of best-selling Hooli fan. Oh, what is this? Mainstream sport? What? Okay, football has reinvented itself. As television money has poured into the game, the traditional working class fans have poured out. Not by choice, but by economic necessity. According to those in charge of the game, the football hooligan has at last been eliminated from the landscape. But how true is this much vaunted claim? Martin King, author of Hooligan, brings his story up to date in the naughty 90s. Ironically, he finds that football hooligans now really are in the minority, but they are far more dangerous and committed than ever before. He charts the changing character of the firms over the decades as he himself evolved from participant to observer. His account is, as ever, honest, funny, and sharp, uh, and he concludes that the soccer thug is alive and well. He may be locked out of the ground, but he's pacing the streets outside. don't really want to read this. Oh god. It's about football. I just... I really don't care about footballs. Like, at all. I just... Hmm. We'll have to see about this book. I think this was the only book with like 9 in it, because it's 90s, but I don't think I, I found a better book, so it's like... Oh. Oh god, it's not a good start. Okay, so this is the book of the month. We'll see if we actually get to it. So, this was the naughty 90s. Okay, the next part is books I actually want to read. So, at least I know this part is going to be good books. So, a lot of them are books I bought at my airport haul. I have a video. Please check it out. So I'm not going to go too much into detail, but I'll tell you the titles. Uh, the first book is The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa. So this is one of the books. Uh, the next one is Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. And the third book is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Such a beautiful, beautiful cover. I just I love this. Um, and then, besides those, so if you want to find more about them, check out the airport hall, because I talk so much about them. Um, another one is Silky by Leo Rostin. Uh, this one, it looks like I started, I didn't, I just put a tag to like, 
see where it actually starts, but um, this is um, a thriller. Um, so he's private eye, he's sexy, he's outrageous. Miss Silky Pincus. He's an ex-cop, a lover, a maven on everything from karate to knishes. Plus he's got Chuspach as big as the Bronx. Silky is blessed with a roguish Irish partner. Their agency is called Watson and Holmes. Uh, a schleppy nephew and a peculiar dog named Mr. Goldberg. Now he's got his hands full with Kimberly Marsh, very beautiful, very rich, very scared, who believes on the basis of very compelling evidence that somebody wants her dead. From the elite east side to the washed out west side to an explosive showdown at Lincoln Center, Silky and Kim dodge Chinatown cheaters and cocaine killers and fall in love along the way. Um, this is a book I have previously pulled from the TBR, I believe, or at least I wanted to read before, but I just didn't get to it, so I hope that I will get to it this month, because it is, it does sound interesting, I love thrillers, and it isn't that big of a book, it, it's so yellow for some reason, like, it is secondhand, but it's so yellow, you don't, you can't see it, but it's, it's ridiculous, but this was the last book from the category of books I want to read, so now let's go to TBR jar, the most exciting part. Alright, this is the jar, so let's pick three books, though I do have The Power of Veto that I just, because I don't want to read. Um, and I do know that three books is a lot, because I don't think I will be able to read that much in a month, but um, I always like to have a choice. And it's just, I don't know, it doesn't matter if I don't read all of them, it's just exciting to have a lot of books because then I'm motivated to read a lot of them. So let's pick three. Okay, the first one is the blue one. It looks short one, like it looks short. I'll show it to you first. Also, if they're on French, I'm, I'm putting it back. I'm not doing that. Can you see that? Will it focus? Okay, for some reason it won't focus, but this is... Oh, I don't think I'm doing this. <laughs> this is a, a short note, but it's a big book. This is Daddy by Danielle Steele. I don't know why I'm showing you, you cannot see it, but... Oh god, I think this is a very thick book. Okay, let's, let's pick the second one. Alright, so the second book is a green note again probably won't focus but show you first regardless out of focus but this is ooh this is Australian short stories this is multiple authors I believe and yeah let's let's try to read that book I've have started it before I believe I believe but I'm not sure so we'll see when I pick it up and the third one Let's go for a different color, maybe this one. Oh, is it in French? No, it shouldn't be. This is... Also, if it's like a seasonal book, I'm not picking it. Like, if it's a winter book, I'm, I'm not doing it right now. I You can't see that. Ooh, Don Quixote by Cervantes. Ah, oh, another book I'm not sure about. Okay, this is part of books I have started a long time ago, but I have yet to read, so... Don Quixote is over here and I still have to read like this book has both the first and the second volume and I have finished the first volume a long time ago. I have to read the second one now and this is how big it is and the writing is tiny in here. It won't focus but it is tiny so um, I will give it a try. I just... Mm, I don't know about this, but this is one of the notes. So this is Don Quixote by Cervantes, which is basically um, Don Quixote is a rich man who kind of has delusions and not kind of, he 100% has delusions and he wants to be a knight errant. Uh, so he goes on all these crazy adventures that aren't really adventures. They're most like normal things, but he makes just a fool of himself and he also has a servant called Macha Pancha I believe Sancho Panza yes <laughs> um, and the servant just goes along with his 
crazy thoughts and it's really interesting and funny I just it's a lot like there are a lot of words in here so let's see if I'll manage to finish it this month or not who knows but this is one of the books so let's pick the other two from my bookshelf and then talk about them welcome to my bookshelf I had to pull the curtain and turn on the lights so I hope the light is okay because it's really bright outside but this is my second bookshelf, so let's pick the other two books. The first one is Australian Short Stories. Maybe I, don't feel lazy, maybe I'm a boy. I found it. This is the book. And then the second one is Daddy by Daniel Steele. So let's look for that. I found it. This is... Can you even see anything? This is Daddy by Danielle Steele and you have the very terrifying portrait at the back like they did in the 90s. So this is the other book. So let's talk about them. I am back. So let's talk about the two books. Uh, first one that I picked, I think this is the first I picked was Daddy by Danielle Steele. Um, and this book, I hope it says what it is about. Oh god, it's such a long description. Do you see that? It's a whole entire page. Um, okay, Oliver Watson's world suddenly dissolves around him when Sarah... I don't know why I said that. Sarah, his wife of 18 years, returns to Harvard to get her master's degree. Oliver is left on his own with three children and a freedom he never wanted. When Oliver's mother is diagnosed as having Alzheimer's disease and dies soon thereafter, Oliver's father's life has changed as well. Braver than his son and was less of a future before him, George Watson, at 72, quickly embraces new relationships and eventually a new marriage. Ben, Oliver's oldest son, rejects his father and reaches outward, under the illusion that he's grown up and can make it on his own. Melissa, the middle child, blames Oliver for her mother's uh, desertion, and Sam, the baby, is too shaken to deal with it all. Now the only parent, Daddy, must somehow cope with his troubled family and explore a world of new responsibilities, new women, and new experiences. What? Each of the three men must start a new life, Oliver in New York and then in Los Angeles with his children and his new relationship with women, uh, his widowed father with the woman next door, and 17-year-old Ben with his girlfriend and baby. Nothing is as it was before, nothing is as they once thought it would be, but in the end, different is better, different is more, for each of them and especially for daddy. Oh, this sounds so cringe, I'm sorry, but what? <laughs> what? Oh god, this is like, pretty sure Daniel Steele is very much a romance author, but like, like cringy fanfiction kind of author. like. Oh god, if she wrote after fanfiction was a thing, I don't know if she would have published all these books. <laughs> That's a very mean thing to say, but it's just... God, did you hear that description? Gee, we'll see if I read this, but wow, okay. This is one of the books. And after that we have Australian short stories. I'm pretty sure you cannot see the title because it's like the worst. It's yellow on blue, but... This does say Australian short stories, it's, it doesn't have an author, but I think that's because there are multiple ones. Um, yeah, there are a lot of authors, a ton of them. Okay, there really are a lot of authors, like this whole page, this one, this one. So a lot of stories, a lot of authors, and I kind of look forward to it. It's just, it's a big book. <laughs> It really is. So we'll see how this goes. But this is short stories by multiple. Short Australian stories. No. Australian short stories. Yes. By multiple authors. So. Que sera sera. We'll see how it goes. Um, I once again picked far too many books. Let me show you. <laughs> These are all the books I chose to read in September. And for some reason... I'm 100% sure I won't read them all, um, like my confidence, shattered, shattered. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books, which isn't bad because like in August I read 
11 so far or like 12 I, I'm not sure but these are thick and especially Don Quixote it just goes on and on and on and I'm not sure about this to be fully honest with you but we will give our best and I am excited about the selection like it's so random so random but um we'll see how it goes and I'll let you know at the end of the month um, if I read all of these or not. So if you read any of these, please let me know what you thought about them and if you enjoyed them and because <laughs> that's the important part, I guess. Um, you can also tell me if you hated them. I'm fully open to that. Um, but if you like this, please give it a like and consider subscribing because I love talking about books and I would love it to share it with you. And I also have another channel where I talk about, well, not to talk about, where I just play Sims. So if you're interested, please check that out. It will be in the description and somewhere floating around me. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls.